Hey guys, Tarkat here, and as you'll probably notice from my skill bar, I'm not Icicle Mines anymore. Now that is for no reason that Icicle Mines was bad. This was purely just the way of the road and SSF. It's just the way of the road sometimes. You've got to play with what drops you. Uh, we had a Searing Touch. I kept holding out for better weapons. Nothing good was dropping. A lot of other people were playing Icicle Mines. I was pretty happy with it. I have min-maxed the tree before I run this map. I'll just quickly just show that it exists. There'll be a link to this down below. There's a Icicle Mine setup that I'm happy with. And this has multiple trees. One for Sab. Uh, one for Sab with Timeless Jewels. And one for Deadeye. Because people kept asking about Deadeye. So those are the trees that I would recommend uh, now that I've played the ability and messed around with it a bit. So uh, what kind of motivated this change? Was it just the Searing Touch? I started messing around with Flamethrower Trap. Flamethrower Trap is really, really nice for Blight Maps. And here we have a Tier 9 Blight Map with some extra damage mods. So let's see how it goes. Um, I'm using a Mana Flask for Sustain. I can sustain without a Mana Flask, but I'm using my Aspect of the Crab Helmet. And I'd have to drop Aspect of the Crab um, and run up Clarity instead. So I thought I'd rather just use the Mana Flask. There's a new modifier. Um, enduring, which means it's not removed at full mana. It's actually pretty tasty. Um, but this is a reduced um, fast charges game map, so maybe this will screw me over here. Now, I like to set up as far away as possible. So let's do that. Set up a slow. And I, my new way of doing these is I like to just set up one of every tower. Um, uh, like low, and then upgrade later. Because generally I find it's that's annoying there's no towers there. I generally find it harder to upgrade. Ooh, that's really annoying. Okay. Um. Missed the ones down here. Whoops. My bad. Okay, I think I'm good to set up. I like having the tanks on the base there. Good, right? Pull set up. But yeah, so the thing which is nice about the flamethrowers is I can just set them and run away and go clear something else. And that's one thing which I really like about uh, this in comparison to the old playstyle uh, with the mines. Because I just find it a lot more forgiving. I'm a bit worried of the what's going on. Down here, are we all good down here? Oh, I'm glad I checked. A <laughs> bunch of mobs incoming. Not all murders are equal. Light is trying to spread. Low on mana. Launching exile. Ooh, ooh, lag, lag, lag. This portal right next to my pump is a bit annoying. Launching All of these are a bit annoying. Exile. The lag is a bit of an issue as well. I don't know how many frames you guys are getting, but I'm not getting too many. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but thank you, game. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. That might have killed me. I hope that didn't fuck me over. Okay, that fucked me over a little bit. effects happening right about now. I 
I like the flying dudes. Exile. Might keep that tier three. Going okay ish now that we uh, got over that slight issue which was teleporting out. Teleporting out was a slight fail. Right, let's try and build some more towers. It's quite a good choke point for flamethrowers. Be holding them. Sword, sword. I want to put a tank there. Getting close. No, they seem to be holding. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Flamethrowers in there. How's that holding? That seems to be going okay -ish. Oh, now I'm stuck. Dash through. Upgrade that. Upgrade flamethrower. Upgrade, upgrade flamethrower. Now, I'm not upgrading that seismic tower at the back there because I find that they lag really bad. Basically, I like, have tier 3 chills on the chokes, then set up a bunch of damage, and then have some tanks and some flying boys. Then throw a bunch of traps in one direction, run down, throw a bunch of traps in the other direction, leave the flame, but you can see the flame trap, flame flower trap is really doing work. Sack a whole bunch of burning ground. Yeah, I just find it a lot smoother. Um, that was the other issue I was having with, um, The other issue I was having with the ice combines is when the FPS gets really heavy, uh, I found myself just mashing buttons. And then when you're just mashing buttons aimlessly like that, it's kind of hard to really gauge how well things are doing. Whereas with this, it's like just throw in one direction, you delete everything, run back the other way, delete everything. And uh, yeah, it just, it just seems to work quite nicely. Let's see if we can just clear out the rest of these mobs. Traps down there. This is pretty close. And yeah, having the like spamming low level towers and then upgrading strat seems to definitely work out the best to me. Because when it's really hectic, it's very difficult to be constantly putting new towers down. He says, well. Oh, overshot that. Overshot that completely. Did not mean to run that far down. Ooh, now that's. Ooh, now we're just lagging. Now, no, now, now we're just lagging. <laughs> I think. I think we held though. I think we held the line. Uh, now I've noticed there's this annoying thing where you get random mobs. You just get stuck. Um, and then because some enemies get stuck, like the event doesn't count as finishing. Low on mana. But I'm pretty sure I've killed most things now. So there's a couple of like random straggle mobs. Uh, on my last one that I did, I had a random rower that was just stuck in a wall. And then because of that, the event wasn't counting as finishing, even though all the enemies were dead. And I think that might have been what happened here. Let's just run around and have a look and see. Okay, there's one mob. Still, some coming out this way. Okay. Mops down here. Still, some coming out slowly. If 
anything else comes that way, they should be dead. It looks like, according to my map, it looks like there's some red mobs here. Anything made it through this way? No, that's all pretty well defended. Anything down here? No, it looks like they're all gone. So there's definitely still some bugs that need to be ironed out with Blight League. That being said, though, this is honestly some of the most intense and engaging gameplay I've ever had in Path of Exile. So I really hope this sticks around, even with like all the really annoying bugs and everything. Um, right, I'm just going to spend what's left of my juice now. Just so that um, it's a bit easier to click on the, the blighted like chests and stuff. I find that when you're um, struggling like this, and it's like, okay, there's a mob left around somewhere or whatever, it's kind of difficult to click on the chests with the massive tower icons. So I like to just spend it all so I can have an easier time picking up loot. Uh, when it comes to like what towers I've been using more of and less of, now that I've messed around with it a lot, I'm a big fan of chilling towers, um, fire towers, and the minion towers. I really didn't appreciate how good the fire towers were. The fire towers are nice. Especially when it's like I'm going to hold down one end myself and let the towers clear up the other. Um, the stun, the seismic totem, uh, the physical one, I don't like that that's that much i find it's pretty laggy and also i just find that i'd rather have the chilling towers even if they're resistant to it the frost wall is really strong um and yeah it's like if i want damage i use the fire tower i never never use the shock tower um the reason why i never use the shock tower is i have guaranteed 20 percent shock and again it's pretty heavy on the visuals so i'd rather not have something which is heavy on the visuals because FPS and you saw how like laggy it gets <laughs> and how hectic it gets. So I want to keep it as clean as possible. So just having like random meteors, having the little helicopter dudes have insane range, which is nice because they can zap in lots of different directions and then the tanks can just hold down an area quite well. So I like to put a bunch of the tanks uh, in like choke points to kind of keep them in the choke. Then you set up some freezers, set up some fireballs, and I throw a bunch of my own traps, run to the side, get a bunch of those traps, you know. I'm kind of rambling at this point. Let's just try and pick up as much loot as we can. But uh, the reason why it's annoying that it bugs out like this is because you then don't get the massive explosion of loot in the middle. And the explosions of loot in the middle are really good. Like, really, really good. Um, I don't know if they've changed anything in a hotfix, but I've been having way less crashes. Um, I don't know if it's because I've been... I've stopped using the towers, which are laggy. So, so like, I used to use the Earthquake Tower a lot. I don't know if I'm crashing less because they fixed something. I'm crashing less because I'm killing mobs faster. Um, but the last three that I've done, um, I've, like, completed them. I've won the event. But this has happened where there's a random mob, like, stuck in a corner somewhere. So I don't actually get all of the rewards. That being said, though, um, even though I'm not getting all of the rewards, it's really fun. XP is decent, I think. And, um, you still get, like, pretty good rewards from all the little currency chests. So I think it's worth doing, even if they are bugged. However, it would be more profitable to just wait until all the bugs get fixed and run them all then. But that's less fun. And I'm in SSF, so it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, it's just about whatever is the most enjoyable. You've probably noticed that I'm using Withering Step. Um, smoke Mine is good. Smoke Mine is really good. I prefer Smoke Mine. I think Smoke Mine is probably the best moves on the game currently. My only issues with Smoke Mine is Skidbots fuck with them sometimes. And. Um, when it gets really hectic and really laggy like that, I want to be able to just run through. Um, you could use a phase runner instead. I want to pick up that bell. Uh, the issue with phase runner eats up all my frenzy charges, which isn't that big of a deal, to be honest, because I get frenzy charges very easily. Um, I need more parts. That's all good looking. Oh, wait, no, it's not, because it's got all the stuff down here. Okay. Definitely move the portal away from the start. That's a mistake you don't make twice. Um, so I'll show you my character, like the gear, and then I'll show you the, go over the passive tree and how I've changed it up. Um, but you can see from this, like, whether you want to stick with Icicle Mines or if you want to go Fire Trap or whatever. Another reason why I wanted to swap out, um, was... Oh, God, this is annoying me. <laughs> so when the density is that big, um, Icicle Mines... Even though Icicle Mines is amazing for map clip, it just doesn't have enough coverage for the super dense maps. What a lot of people have been doing is they've just been stopping to Pyro. Let me click on you. There we go. A lot of people skipped, uh, swapped to Pyroclasm Mines for like bossing or for this. 
Uh, Pyro, I cannot stand the visuals. It's too loud. I don't like the sounds um, either. And it tanks my bitrate. So, like, the stream gets really choppy just when I'm doing this, which is very intense. But with Pyroclasm Spine, Spam, sorry, like, you can't see anything and it's just not a fun uh, viewer experience. And that was also another reason to just let me pick up the thing, dude. That was another reason. They need to make an option so you can hide the towers. Uh, that was another reason to go for um, the traps. It's just for you guys to have something a little bit more interesting to watch. I know a lot of people are still um, asking me about trap builds in 3.8. Is it ever worth playing traps when mines exist? I think so. Um, I seemed, originally before I tried it, I thought it felt very dubious. Like, why would you ever want to do it when you could just be mines? Uh, traps still feel burstier. Um, so I feel like for bursting bosses, traps are better than mines, just from what I've experienced with my current gear levels. And also, traps do feel smoother for these really heavy blighted maps. And obviously, if you're someone who doesn't enjoy the mine playstyle, I do enjoy it, because someone who don't, doesn't enjoy it, well, this will obviously feel smoother, because you don't have to press detonate. And a lot of people just really don't like pressing detonate, so I guess that's something. But, um... Oh, God. No, just let me... I just want to pick up the chest! I should retitle this video to 30 minutes of Taki trying to click on loot. Oh my god, this is annoying. Great league. Love the league. Does have some teething issues. Um, honestly though, this, as I said earlier, this is some of the most fun I've ever had. Even if I'm spending a lot of my time not able to really do what I want to do. I need more pockets. Oh, okay. I think I got all the loot now. I oh, know there's still some loot over here apparently. So much loot. Okay, we've got all the loot now. Oh, no. <laughs> I keep see I keep walking past more of it. I need more pockets. Okay, now I think I've gotten everything. It looks like there's something I missed at the top there. <sighs> oh, God. Yeah, I missed. Please. Now I've gotten all the loot. I'm gonna slash that, pick up those rings. Uh -huh. and then I'll go over some tree stuff. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they, they drop a lot of stuff. Um, and they are just fun, so they're worth doing just that. Okay, goodbye, laggy arena. Oh, oh god. Thank you. Good old zoom in OP strat. So, let's go over my gear and everything. So, we're using the 5 ink searing touch. My links are fire trap, swift assembly. That's another thing that uh, is really worth talking about. So, swift assembly um, is basically better than classy trap and multi trap. Because on average, it throws like 1.4 traps. I think someone mapped that out in my chat earlier. But it doesn't have a damage penalty. Uh, Cluster Trap has a damage penalty to it. So this isn't reduced with damage. It's just a damage increase. And it's got a low mana multiplier. And because uh, Fire Trap does quite a big burning um, ground like explosion, that doesn't get scaled down by this, which is nice. Uh, trap and Mine, Damage Control, Destruction, Ellie Focus. Uh, six Link will probably be Fire Pen. You could also use Hypothermia because my... Skitterbot's chill. Uh, you could just go for uh, charge traps also. In my chest, I have my flamethrower trap with advanced trap, trap and mine damage, faster casting, increased duration. I need to collect GCPs and flip a bunch of gems. So if you see stuff which isn't flipped, I will flip it. Uh, the reason I'm using faster casting, increased duration, and advanced traps. So advanced trap has a whole bunch of uh, cooldown recovery on that, but. Um, Flamethrower Trap scales incredibly well with skill effect duration and cast speed. So this gives skill effect duration. It means I can get more out. Um, it means I throw them faster. And then fast casting means it rotates faster so it hits more often. And then Trap of Mind Damage because it's just a big multiplier. My sixth link would be Ellie Focus. Um, I've got a floating Vile Grace that you saw me press during the fight. In my helmet, I have Summon Skitterbots, which I need to flip. Uh, Enlighten, currently only level 2. Herald of Ash and a floating portal gem and then i'm also getting aspect of the crab from the helmet ideally i'd want aspect of the spider so i'd have aspect of the spider herald of ash and skitterbots that's what i'd recommend people go for in trade league if they want to play the setup uh, my amulet is just a fire damage crit multi life mana i'll talk about the uh, anointment later 
Um, my boots are just terrible boots. I'm trying to farm Itziri's step so I get more evasion for my Queen of the Forest, because my Queen of the Forest is currently um, only a movement speed buff with my Jade Flask active. It also gives more spell dodge, so that's what I'm trying to get for. I've just been unlucky. I've gotten the Flask like five times. And then just life uh, resists. So better gloves, better boots. Those are the main things I'm looking for. My rings are both very good. So this has uh, life, percent life, a tiny bit of attributes, and crafted mana. I don't need the crafted mana because I'm using the mana pot, so I should probably change that. But it's good just because it has the percent life on there. And then this has a bunch of uh, resists. It has a good strength roll on it and has some flat evasion. My bell is terrible, but it's okay. Um, it's got 79 life, increased flash charges gained, then trap of mine throwing speed. Again with crafted mana. So on my passive skill tree, you can see I've, I've anointed Expedious Munitions. Uh, because of how they've changed the tree um, to suit traps, you don't really need to take this intersection at all, which means you get way more points and you can travel really freely, and I really like it. So by anointing this node, which is quite cheap to anoint, um, you get everything you really want on this bit. It sucks a little bit to miss out on this area, but it's not the end of the world. Um, you get to root through the bottom, which gives um, car speed. I'm going to get car speed here. Anyone in Trade League, you'd want to use Slave Driver Gloves. Uh, slave Driver Gloves are the Trap Incursion Gloves, uh, which give you your traps blood magic. You could then drop the Mana Pot for a DPS Pot, uh, or run more Auras, or both. Do both. Um, so yeah, that's what you want there, and that gives you increased trap throwing speed based on car speed. So then the fact you'll start picking up some car speed on the tree is good, because it's giving you trap throwing speed, and the car speed is buffing your flamethrower trap damage. So it's really good going through these uh, nodes. But yeah, we come along, grab Saboteur, grab this, come down. Uh, this is how I'm generating my frenzy charges, also gives some trap trigger area. Also worth noting, I'm taking explosive experts and not chain reaction. Fire trap creates burning grounds. They always have are on burning ground, so I always have that um, 30 crit multi. And my skidderbots shock and my skidderbots chill, so that's where I'm getting the 80% crit and the 10% pen from. Um, so that's what that is. This is some a tiny bit of area, some trap damage, and some trap trigger AoE. This makes up for the fact that we don't have chain reaction, but I don't feel like I ever need it. Uh, life evasion. Uh, silent Steps, we blind from Born in the Shadows. This is just 5% damage reduction and a bunch of evasion scaling. Evasion is really good this league. Um, acro Phase Acro come up. Life, Jewel, all the trap stuff. Uh, this is where I'm doing my power charges from. Bunch of crit multi, spell crit, some life. Crit, spell crit. Sorry, crit, crit multi, life, Jewel. And then come up this way. Crit chance, crit multi. These are the weakest points. Get these last. Get some movement speed, some cast. We get some life. Get some more evasion, life, life, uh, life, uh, increased effect of flasks, mana, but mostly for reduced flask charges, you use 8% increased uh, flask effect. So think of that as 50% reduced flask charges, that is 8% uh, increased flask. That's really gr good. And then you happen to get 23% mana on top, which is all right. Then you get a bunch of life. That's what it looks like in Path of Building. And my like finished tree, sorry, this is the minor version. Uh, my finished fire trap tree is like 92. Um, and then past that point, uh, you would just be picking up whatever fluff you really wanted. You could maybe grab Charisma if you want to go for more setups. You could pick up just three-point jewels through spell damage, uh, through resists. Three-point jewel here. Probably just go for three-point jewels. Otherwise, go for um, power charges or frenzy charges if you run charge traps. Um, that's a good two-pointer, and that's pretty bog standard. Three-point jewel, three-point jewel. You'd finish up just taking all the three-point jewels, really. This is pretty good because it bumps your strength up. I'm rambling. So getting into the Icicle Mine stuff. Um, I've kind of spoken about this to death. Again, really solid build. Um, Deadeye is faster. Saboteur has a little bit more defense to it. That's the default tree that I ha currently use where I was uh, respecking. That's what you use if you put a Timeless Jewel. And then also that's the, what you want the Timeless Jewel for. You take Perfect Agony and you convert it. Also something I would do on my fire trap tree when I eventually get um, enough legions that I start getting timeless jewels. Suck one right here. Get a key node. Good vibes. Um, the best one I'd recommend would be a Maraketh jewel for Wind Dancer. That's the Kintsugi effect. Very, very strong. And then that's what the Deadeye tree looks like. And the Deadeye tree skips all of this stuff because it doesn't need to. If the reservations look a bit iffy, that's just because I have a level 20 clarity. Um, obviously, you wouldn't run a level 20 clarity on the Deadeye version. You'd bump that down to like level 15 or something, and you'd be fine. 
Uh, this reservation is with all of your traps out at once. Sorry, all of your mines out at once. So that's absolutely fine. Links to everything are down below. If you have any 500Q strats, please do let me know. If you are playing in Trade League and you're like, what chest we should I run? Should I run Queen of the Forest? Uh, you can. I'm running it because I have it. Your options would be a Combs Harp. Um, Shroud of the Lightless would be amazing. That's what I would ideally want. That's the Abyss chest. Shroud of Eternity for added damage as Chaos. If you do any conversion setups, I would recommend Cold to Fire. Shroud of Eternity for people doing Icicle Mines. Um, Kintsugi for more defense. Perfect form if you would like to drop Acro, Phase Acro. But anyway, I'm Taki. Have a good day. Everything's down below. Hope you're all enjoying Blight League as much as I am. Long video, by the way. Bye-bye.